All right, we got one of these $5 Walgreens 100 baseball cards plus one pack. Uh, anybody who's been in cards for long enough can tell that that's a pack of 1991 Series 2 Donruss. And you got a, what looks like a 2019 opening day. Yeah. Uh, red. Hollow foil. Tight card for Cabrera. Miggy. Look at the look at the glue that's on there. That is insane. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, somebody said it was easier to open these from the bottom. And look at that. No industrial strength glue on the bottom. I bet some of these corners are gonna be rounded, and I'm a I'm a big stickler for rounded corners in boxes where cards are unprotected. Blah blah blah. I hate that stuff. Oh yeah, you can see a lot of these things are rounded just as they come out of the pack. These, look at those. Well, let's see what they let's see what they put inside this. Let's see if we can get our Cabrera card out of there in decent shape. You got some corner damage right there. You can see in the other lamp, I've got two lamps, <clears throat> one on each side of me. That corner looks pretty good. Oh, that corner's trashed. You can see that without the lamps reflecting off of it. That's awful. Red parallel, they're not numbered. So we'll put that off to the side and we'll take a little small snippet of these and see what we can find. Kevin Apier, this is 90 rookies from 91 tops. That's a logo that was on all the 91 tops, so you can tell that this was made in 1991. That's one of the one of the glossy. <clears throat> it's not one of the mail away sets. I think they used to be back in the day, but they started putting them in the rack packs. Dave Martinez. Vinny Castilla, Kevin Mitchell, Ted Herbick. Let's turn these all over. Good old 1990 Donruss. Tim Cruz is dead. He was killed in the boating accident in spring training of 93 with uh, Steve Olin. Kevin Bass, Kevin Brown. Mookie Wilson, 1990 Upper Deck along with Jeff Hewson. Hewson. 91 Bowman, Barry Jones, 91 Stadium Club. This was the first year that they did Stadium Club. Has a picture of the person's rookie card on the back. Lenny Dykstra. This one's actually creased. You can actually see the crease. You won't be able to, maybe. I'm getting the light to shine on it, but you can see that there's a crease starting here and going in about, oh, half inch. That's pretty bad. But that's what you get with these kind of things. Jeff Acero, 1992 Stadium Club. This says, <clears throat> I'm not familiar with these years, but it's in the 90s for sure. 97 is my guess. And it says 96 Donruss, but it has 96 stats on it. So for them to have the 96 stats, it had to have been made at the end of 96, at least after the baseball season had ended. So I'm guessing it was made in the very end of 96, but it was made for 97. Greg Cateret, Jim Bullinger, 92 Stadium Club, Paul Gibson, 92. Gotta gotta hand it to Tops for doing for having that really, really good photography back then in the early 90s. Jeff Blauser, 88, Donruss. Uh, Pacific Collection. Uh, yeah, Pacific Collection. I remember seeing a lot of these cards back in the early 90s. This was 94. This should be 90 leaf. 91. I always get those mixed up. Jose De Leon and Lance Parrish. Bill Duran. Bill Doran for uh, 93 Donruss. Bill Swift for Pacific. <clears throat> Luis Lopez Pinnacle Rookie Prospect. It's a nice foil. 94. Tim Burtsas. Burtsas. Pete Smith. Another Pete Smith. This is uh, 
the bronze copperish foil that this one has on it, I believe they were the base cards. And then they had an electric diamond version that was the silver or regular foil. Jeff Blauser's Sport Flicks. <clears throat> it says Sport Flicks 2000 on the bottom there, I believe. <clears throat> 93 is the last year on the stat. So these were made in 94. I'm pretty sure that says Sports Flicks 2000 on the bottom there under the Sports Flick, Sport Flicks logo. But I can't really tell because it's... Let me see what this logo says down here. Yeah, Sport Flicks 2000. But it was made in 94. Steve Farr, 1988 tops. 90 Bowman Dave Smith. This has got to be Archives. Made in... Oh, jeez. There were some made in the 90s, so it very well could be part of that. I'm not familiar with the set. I never bought any of them. <clears throat> Greg Booker, nine, 1989 Upper Deck. 92 Upper Deck Mark Waller's Rookie, Top Prospect. David Need, 94 Fleer Ultra. Pat Listash with a broken bat in his hand, 93 Upper Deck. This is 88 Tops. You can tell by the orange background. Those are infamously 88 tops. Stan Usual is not a bad card, but it's just a reprint. Jesse Barfield, 90 Fleer. Ron Jones, 90 Fleer. Jody Reed, 93 Upper Deck. Fernando Valenzuela. John Farrell, the current manager of the Red Sox, I believe. Jim Eisenreich playing in some serious water. Looking like he's about to do a slip and slide there. Kicking up some water with his feet. 93 Upper Deck, Tim Scott, 93. This is Kmart. This one's pretty old. 1982. That's a pretty old card there. That's not bad. That's that's a nice little, nice little gift in there. Here's some more Pacific Collection from a different year. 96. These, this is a, a year I've never seen the cards from before. <clears throat> 88 World Series, one swing, three RBI. So this is obviously 89. Fleer. And it was probably one of the cards that came with the complete set, if it didn't come in the packs. Dave Smith, 88, tops. Harrison Bader, tops all-star rookie, what people call trophy cards. It's not in bad shape either. And Leonis Martin, who played for the Tigers for like five minutes. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I thought it was actually a... 1970 top scar <laughs> because of the back. <clears throat> Jorge Soler, Heritage uh, 2019. Ooh, we got an all star game parallel for uh, what looks like 2018 tops. Here's Todd Froworth. All star game stamp edition. I've never had any of those before. That's pretty cool. Jordy Mercer. Scooter Jeanette, all star game. Jonathan V. Villar. I always want to say VR, but it's Jonathan Villar. And Marwin Gonzalez All-Star Game. So these are the packs. These kind of uh, packs that are put together like this by Fairfield or or uh, MJ. I can't think of the full name for the other one. I know they're both just marketing companies. Here's 1983 Tops. That's in pretty good shape too. Dennis Lamp. <clears throat> But those uh, those special All Star Game type cards are, are these are good places to get those kind of cards. There's eighty nine Charlie Liebrandt. This is nineteen eighty John Castino eighty tops, eighty nine Gene Walter, John Curtis eighty tops a little bit off center, eighty nine Upper Deck John Costello, Corey Snyder. This should be ninety one ninety. Oh no, it is eighty nine. I didn't realize it did the collector's choice things in. Uh, 89. I haven't reviewed 89 in a while. You can see some wax residue, so this card was in the back of a wax pack. Tori Luvello and Robert Palacios, 89 Fleer. This is 90 Leaf right here. This is the 90. I always get them mixed up because I'm not very familiar with this set. 89 Jay Howell. Jerry Brown, 90 Fleer. Let's go ahead and flip all this over. 89 tops, Jamie Quirk. 91 highlights, or 91 Donruss highlights, Terry Mulholland. These are the BC cards. There's another Jamie Quirk with 
That's a weird looking stain right there. Oh, that's a person's head <laughs> in the dugout. They did some serious airbrushing. Jose Mesa, Chuck Finley, 89 tops, Trevor Wilson, Jay Buhner, 92 Bowman. That was a really hot set to have. 89 score, Chuck Krim and Ted Neuf, Needin' Fewer, Frank Williams and Mark Davis, 90 Fleer. These are 85 Donruss, Donnie Scott and Vic Rodriguez. They got a really, really vanilla looking card back here. <clears throat> 89 Fleer, Dan Glad, Dan Gladden. 87 Tops, Rafael Santana. John Dobson, this looks like traded. It is. 40T. The aqua color, the, the teal green color is what indicates that it was traded. 90 Bowman, Scott Fletcher, Todd Zeal, Damon Berryhill. 87 Tops, Mike Trujillo, 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 Jerry Royster, Kurt Ford, Greg Walker, Pete Rose, manager card. Denny Martinez, 89 tops, Dave Smith, 90 Fleer, Jay Bell, Andy Allenson, RJ Reynolds, back to 89 tops, Tommy Lasorda, Cal Ripken Jr., and Greg Swindell, and then we'll finish it off with a 89 Fleer, or 90 Fleer. And let's see what's in this uh, 91 Donner Series 2. Wax pack. I love that Donruss put the puzzle pieces on the back, so they're the ones that got the wax from the ceiling of the pack. So none of the cards ever got affected by wax stains unless there was a packaging error. <clears throat> Bob Kipper, Terry Leach, Chuck McElroy, McElroy, Jim Gantner, Daryl Strawberry. That was when he had signed with the Dodgers. That was that was uh, really remarkable because he had played with the Mets for uh, up to that point. So this was almost like a traded card for Strawberry. Eddie Murray MVP should... No, that's not BCs. Because they did the highlights as BCs, they changed the MVPs to uh, in the card set. Jeff Scholes, Mel Rojas, Dan Petrie, Darren Holmes, Ozzy Smith All-Star, Rich DeLucia, rated rookie, Bob Welch, Scott Aldid, Aldrid, rated rookie, Bob McDonald, and Kevin Bass, and then the puzzle piece is the 16, 17, 18... <clears throat> I guess it's worth five bucks. It's about, I mean, it's a nickel a card. If you really wanted to get really technical with the decimals, you could factor in the tax, whatever sales tax there is, and then divide it by 100. I will have to go through all these and f filter out the cards that I don't want or that aren't, that are in condition that I wouldn't sell. Um, but for five bucks, it's something enjoyable for people. So there's, there's what it looks like to get the Walgreens 100-card baseball card pack plus one sealed pack. See ya.